I will be doing a quick tank review for the Czech T06 medium tank, the Skoda T25. This tank for all intended purposes, it is just like the T24, but it is slightly better in most ways. Besides that, this tank have a lot of the same play styles, strengths, weaknesses, and how you play the tank as well. Remember, the vehicle, due to its an armor, you can be killed easily enough if you're at the wrong place at the wrong time when you're playing this medium. So, if you are going to be if you are going to be playing the Skoda T25 properly, it is important to know the vehicle's strengths, weaknesses, and how to use the tank properly according to what is going on at the match at the time. Besides that, this is probably one of the best tier 6 medium tanks in the game when you compare the T25 to the other medium tanks at this tier. Let's get into the vehicle stats themselves. Let's begin off with the firepower. Gun. You will be using a 75mm gun at this tier still. It's not that great nor bad, but the top gun that you will be using is a magazine fed gun, which is pretty good. It holds 3 rounds in the clip and have a quick low time of just underneath 8 seconds when you have a good crew and equipment setup with a time delay of about 1.33 seconds in between each round fired. So, in theory you can fire about 18 rounds per, per a minute with this uh, gun. The penetration value is good for it. It's TL 132, so you can penetrate most of the tanks that you will come across easily enough as long as you know where to uh, shoot at the vehicle weak uh, weak uh, weak spot but when it comes to tier 7 and 8 tanks that have pretty good armor at that tier then using a PCR is a good idea so you can penetrate the area of the tank where you can penetrate it easily enough with a PCR which is 185 millimeters on on average HG it is not that great for penetration value at 38 Damage output per a round, it is quite low for a 75mm gun at this tier still. 100, 110 damage per a shot. So that means if you want to do a lot of damage with this gun, you have to fire a lot of penetrating shells into the enemy tank to accumulate that amount of damage. The aim time and the accuracy is pretty good. With a good crew and a equipment setup, you can have about 1.8 second time for the aiming time. So that's pretty good at this tier, having 1.8 second for the aiming time. And then accuracy at point to 36. The damage output per a minute, it is okay for its tier. It is 2,000 damage per a mi minute. So as long as you use the gun to the full to the full advantage to the full advantage to the full advantage that you can at times you can do quite well in this tank. Gun depression it is fantastic. Ten degrees downward, twenty up. So you can heal fight with this if you have to. The gun the turret traverse is fantastic at thirty eight. Now, the survivability, it is completely rubbish. Due to the sin armor, the crew members and the modules, they can be damaged easily enough. Hit points, 730 hit points, so you can take a few hits before you are killed. Armor, it is purely rubbish. You may be able to ricochet a few rounds if you angle the front and the side hull armor well enough. Besides that, everything can penetrate you easily enough. Armor in the front, it is 54 turret in the hull. 
side and we are 35 for the hull and turret. So your armor is paper thin. Mobility. This is this is where the tank is is actually pretty good for weighing about 23.6 tons for the upgraded. You have quite quite the good horsepower to ton ratio with a 500 horsepower engine with a horsepower of 21 ho horsepower to 1 ton. So that means when you are on flat terrain, going in a straight line or going downhill, you can easily reach the 60 km mark quickly enough. The reverse speed it is good at 20. The halt reverse it is good at uh, 33. So with a good hull and turret, turret Turret Traverse, you can use the hull and the turret traverse to your advantage to turn the to, to turn the machine around in a hurry if you have to. Concealment, it is not that bad, not good for a medium tank. When it is staying still, it is 11.5. When on the move, it is 8.65. The vehicle spotting range and signal range it is pretty good the base view range it is 375 meters you can increase the view range even more if you are going to be using a coded optics or binocular teles telescope the radio it's pretty good it is at about 760 meters which is pretty good for this tier so Let's get into the research part of the tank now. The tank research, it's a easy tank to go through, as you don't need to do all that much researching to get to the tier 7 tank. You will have to pretty much research the top gun, the top turret, and then you can get to the T-34-100. The only pieces of equipment that you will have to research on the tank itself to have the machine for the upgraded is the top engine, track, gun, and turret. Let's begin off with the tracks. You will have to get the second pair of tracks to mount all of the equipment onto the tank heel. So your hull traverse changes for the better from 25 up to 30, which is a nice improvement. Engines, you have two to use the 450 and 500 horsepower 500 horsepower engine the thing about the 500 horsepower engine is that it is only usable on the tank here so if you want to have a slightly better horsepower to ton ratio then use the 500 horsepower engine if not it is quite viable to use the 450 horsepower engine throughout the entire grind if you want to. So it's up to you which of these two engines you want to use throughout the grind or not. Watch out for the engine fire at 20% for both of them. The radios, you would have them all unlocked already, so use the FU-12. By the way, as you would have had this unlocked already on the Skoda T24 if you unlocked it. So you so you the best radio ASAP. Turrets you have two. The only difference between uh, the two turrets here is the top turret. You have you have slightly better hit points, a better turret to traverse, uh, traverse speed, a better view range, also better gun handling stats as well. So use the top turret for all of the increased uh, stats for the tank. The two guns that you will be using they're pretty, they're pretty much the same gun, except the only difference between the first to the second gun is the second one. It's a auto loader, and the second, and the first one is not. So they have roughly the same penetration and damage output, except for the uh, 
75mm auto loader gun, it is a better, better one of the two to use as you have a magazine to use and you can fire all of them in a short amount of time, move, load the gun in a hurry and fire more rounds. Also the aiming time and the accuracy is better for the auto, auto loader here as well. So, so you will use the first gun, the A18. It's pretty good still at this tier. So use that until you get the required experience points to unlock the auto loader gun. Then use the auto loader gun to get the required experience for the top turret to use that. Then get the rest of the experience to get to the T34 100. Now I will be covering the consumables, the ammunition layout, the equipment, and how are you going to be playing the Skoda T25 tank? Let's begin off with the consumables. Consumables, I would go with a small first aid kit, a small repair kit, and a manual fire extinguisher to, po to put out the engine fire and restore what damage that the crew member and the module taken so far. The ammunition count, 60 rounds, that is quite a good amount, so you will never run out of ammo in a match with this tank, except for the very long matches that you got yourself into certain situations when you fire the majority of your ammunition already. Besides that, 60 rounds of ammo, it is enough. The majority of the ammo you will be using, it is AP and APCR. AP can penetrate most of the targets easily enough if you know where to aim it at. APCR is a good ammo type to use against heavily armored tanks when you are going up against them at TL6. 7 and 8, especially when they're angling their armor. The HE round, it is only useful against thinly armored targets, such as uh, such a certain uh, scout at this tier area still, artillery pieces, or you could use it just to destroy debris in front of you. Now, the equipment that I went with, I went with an enhanced gunning drive to decrease what is already a good aiming time, vents to improve the crew and the tank performance by a bit. The third, it's up to you what you want to use. The toolbox is not a bad idea to get your repairs done faster, coded optics or binocular telescope to have a view range increase. The wet ammo rack, it's a not a bad idea to use this to reduce the chance of the vehicle getting ammo racked from the side or, side or front. Besides that, everything else here, it is not that uh, useful at all. Now, how are you going to be using the Skoda T25 tank? As a tier 6 tank, you will have tier 6 matchmaking. Which means, when you are top tier, you can do quite well if you know what you are doing. When you are not top tier, you can do well enough still if you know what you are doing. The main roles that the Skoda T25 is uh, good at are primarily going to be frontline medium tank uh, duties, such as being a frontline medium tank, being a bit of a passive scout at times, or active, de determine how, how you have the vehicle set up as, and the situation is at the time. You can be a good flanking medium tank, support vehicle, and even being a medium to a short distance sniper as well. Besides that, the Skoda T25, it's a jack of all trades type of type of medium tank at this tier. It is not good at one role, exactly. 
nor bad at the other. Besides being quite the good front line, uh, front line, uh, front line type of medium tank. As long as you play toward the vehicle's strengths and weak weaknesses, knowing when to use certain tactics, when to flee, when to flank on the map, you can do quite well with this tank. Let's get into the two we played, which I will show you how well you can do in the Skoda T25 tank when you are top tier in a tier 6 match and when you are not top tier in a tier 8 match uh, maximum. Let's go to those two replays now. This is a replay. I will show you how well you can do in the Skoda T24 when you are top tier. Let's speed this replay up a bit. This is a tier 6 match maximum. To show you the capacity of the vehicle, what you can do in it if you play towards the vehicle's strengths and weaknesses. Also, I will be showing off how well you can play this tank when you are playing it as a very aggressive medium tank, being a bit of a sniper, and a support wall in this match as well. Being a pretty fast medium here, I use my speed here to get to a good location. I unload my clip onto the enemy Skoda there, setting it on fire. With the good thing about the load clip for the gun, the gun loading the clip, it doesn't take all that uh, long, under 10 seconds per a single clip. Now I am being very careful here as I can be killed easily enough by the enemy forces here if, if they rush me. I wait for some backup before moving forward. Here I use my amazing rate of fire here to dwindle down the enemy tank hit, hit point. I dodge the enemy fire as well. With a good crew and equipment setup, uh, you c with a good crew and equipment setup, you can have the load time to be around eight seconds or less in theory, which is pretty good. There, I used the last few rounds in the clip to finish off the tanks that were on low health. Now I'm using my agility to get to a position where I can can support my team. Getting to the enemy rear here. I look at what I can shoot at. Seeing there is artillery in the AI experiment, I fo focus on the artillery first. I do a quick force reload, knowing it, if I'm going to be damaging the AI, I need to use all of my clips on the tank. With the clip, I reduce the tank to about one third of its hit points. Knowing I'm going to take a hit from the OI, I I use the amazing aiming time and good pen penetration value at this tier area still to finish the OI off. 
this we play I did quite well for playing quite a very aggressive uh, me medium tank at this tier being a being a top tier medium I got myself uh, six kills getting myself a top gun medal in the process while doing about 2300 damage which is quite nice in the next replay I will show you how well you can do in the vehicle when you are not top tier this uh, replay I will be using the same tactics as in the previous re re replay this replay I am in a tier 8 match maximum to show you how well you can do in the vehicle when you're playing toward the vehicle's strengths and weak uh, weaknesses when you're not top tier let's speed this replay up a bit first thing first I use the vehicle pretty good uh, pretty good speed to get to the front line here to be a bit of a bit of a passive scout seeing nothing it's only just the type 64 here my team we have the advantage in the zero line so seeing that we have a good amount of people in this line I begin to uh, change my location to to see if I could shoot at the Hellcat at this time I could not but coming to this location here it gave me a opportunity to shoot at the uh, top tier vehicles that are going to be coming to our base in that area I use the building here as cover to protect myself from them the T-345 I use my clip on the vehicle itself while loading I use the building as cover The T-34, I tried to fire at the vehicle while on the move. I only got one shot there earlier. And then I would have had, had led the third shot to finish the T-34-85 off. The IS here, I got a shot on its side using Victor AP but to make sure I can penetrate the vehicle armor side I need to use a PCR now I am thinking at this moment should I go around them to get a opportunity to shoot at their rear or help my team in the north here Let's speed this re replay up a bit. After seeing what things are like in this sector, I switch location to assist my team in the north part of the map. I use my mobility here to get to a position where I can shoot at who come into my range this this uh, pattern got into my area so I, I finished it off with my clip and this as well I'm going to die soon 
There's the IS-3, IS-6, and the Panzer in the fortress area. I got a bit uh, greedy there. Trying to move back and forth. Try trying to shoot at the IS-3 at the end there. This replay I did not too bad for being a low tier medium tank in this uh, match. I got myself one kill while doing about 920 damage with 450 assist damage. That is not too bad for being a low tier medium tank in this match. Let go to the garage now to do a brief recap on the tank itself. Let's uh, do a brief recap on the Skoda T25 tank. The tank itself, it is not that good nor bad, it is just average. As long as you play to the vehicle's strengths and weaknesses, you can do, you can do quite well in this tank. Remember, with the vehicle having paper thin armor, you can be killed easily enough. So, using the correct tactics at the right time on the map where you're at, it is quite important to know this if you want to do quite well in this tank. Besides that, as long as you play toward the vehicle's strengths and weaknesses, you can do quite well in this one of the one of the best tier 6 uh, medium tank for its tier area still. I hope that you learn a thing or two about the Skoda T T25 and how to use it properly. If you like this video, leave a like, a comment, and even follow my channel as well. Good luck on the battlefield everyone